a lot can change in four years. Every four years, we hold an election. Every four years, there's an Olympic Games. Every four years, there's a FIFA World Cup. And what about players in, say, the NBA? They can get a lot better than what people expected them to do. And the best way to judge this is with the 2K video games. They give ratings out to players every year, 1 through 100. More accurately, 50 through 100, because no one gets lower than that. But, as you'll see, some players in these lists got a lot better than what they were expected to do and what they were in 2012. Players making 30 overall jumps. That's how good they've progressed. Now, granted, ratings were a bit different. Most ratings are a bit higher in 2K. The lower player ratings aren't as low as the lower player ratings were in 2K12. But, yeah, a lot does change. So let's get into it. Damari Carroll, one of the best wing defenders in the game for the Raptors that helped with their success on getting to the Eastern Conference Finals, was a free agent in 2012 and a 58 overall player who couldn't do much of anything well. Mark Gasol, one of the best defenders in the NBA, a great low post presence, helped key Grizzlies runs. In 2012, he was nothing more than a bench player, a player who couldn't even be compared to some of the best players and only played mediocre defense. Sean Livingston, the backup point guard to Steph Curry, who has had an unbelievable season and keyed the 73-game win. But in 2012, nope, he was just another point guard on a Bucks team. Yeah, the Bucks team, one of the worst players on that team. Gordon Hayward, the pivotal point to the Jazz, almost making the playoffs. Great player, right? Not in 2012, as he was a player with a bad haircut. He couldn't really do much more than score. And Boogie Cousins, we know now, is one of the best players in the NBA. One of the best centers, definitely. But not in 2012. As 2012, he was a player with a lot of off-the-court issues and just a 71 rating. Wow. J.J. Redick, a great shooter for the L.A. Clippers, who has emerged and really helped key some successes, but in 2K12, he was on the Magic and a 64 overall. Couldn't really do much more than shoot. Paul George, just named the cover athlete of 2K17, a great player who has really shown his dominance. But in 2K12, after a disappointing rookie season, he was just a 74 overall player who didn't show much life on the defensive end. Kyle Lowry, one of the best point guards in the NBA. He also took the Raptors to new places, but 2012, he was a decent player on the Toronto Raptors team. Or sorry, on the Houston Rockets. Jeremy Lin had that one breakout season and now is a good player on the Hornets. Had some great successes there. Not good in, in 2012, as he was just a player on the Warriors who didn't have much hope for the future. James Harden, he must have been good, right? He's one of the best players in the NBA today, even despite an all-NBA team snub. Eh, not really. This was the his last year in Oklahoma City, a player who never really performed. Goran Dragic, the starting point guard for the Miami Heat, has a great future in front of him, but in 2K12, he was also on the Rockets and below Johnny Flynn to show you how much he's risen. DeMar DeRozan, there's a lot of Raptors on this list. He has had a great, great season, and it really established himself as one of the best wing players, but in 2K12, eh, not really. He was a slasher, he was a very unproven. And Lance Stevenson, a player on the Grizzlies who's bounced around but remains to be a solid shooting guard, who could forget that moment when he blew in LeBron's ear? Well, not 2K12 because it hadn't happened yet. He was just a 58 overall who was on one of the worst players on the Pacers at the time. Steph Curry, easily the best player in the NBA right now, has completely dominated. And in 2K12, he wasn't bad. He was an 80 overall, but this just shows how far he has come being a 96 overall, one of the, be the best player in the game. Ian Mahimi, 
great backup center and starts a bit for the Pacers. He's certainly got a lot of talent. Eh, not really, as you can see in 2K12 Futures, to 46 overall. Eek. Couldn't do much more than rebound. But the biggest growth is Hassan Whiteside, premier shot blocker in the NBA, and does a lot more. Not in 2K12. He was a 49 overall. It seems unbelievable that a player of his talent could be just a 49. But it really does show you how far these players can come. Thank you guys for watching this episode of 314 Sport Talk. If you enjoyed, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and that's all for now.